keep it on the ground. Well, it's been a most interesting half of football. We have seen uh, these two teams that are so well balanced, a lot of uh, really interesting offense, uh, not just your usual run-of-the-mill kind of offensive display. They both have been very entertaining, but we've seen inevitable flags occur just when the teams have had drives going. And in the case of the Bengals, of course, they had their first two offensive series stopped by interceptions by the 49ers. I think a lot of it might be due uh, to uh, the fact that both teams are, uh, I should say that the Bengals are trying to clinch. They haven't yet. They might be a little bit envious of the 49ers who have. Well, a victory today would clinch a playoff spot for them. Of course, he'd like to win that division, but Pittsburgh's still alive in it. Hot formation left on first down. Montana will throw. Intended for Clark. Is he in? Yes. Touchdown. Right Clark. Just inside the end line. Right on the money. The two officials were standing on the end line, and he got those two feet down with two seconds on the clock. Well, my expertise really showed up there, didn't it? I thought I was, I was figuring they would go for three points, but they went into the end zone. That's what's interesting about this football team. Dwight Clark comes down. It's somewhat of a surprise to, to uh, uh, Ken Riley. He just goes to the end line, and, and that's where the ball's going to be. In this situation, what happens is the quarterback is told to go to the end line, and he runs to the ball. Ray Wershing in for the point after. And he has it. So the 49ers with a touchdown in the final seconds of this first half have opened up a 14-3 lead here at Cincinnati's Riverfront Stadium. I can remember what it was like, just like David, sitting in the audio booth, listening to all those different frequencies of sounds, wondering if I was